welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. Six days police custody to Tarun Tejpal. Police demand 14 days custody as probe involves interstate crime. Defence lawyer opposes. Tejpal spends Saturday night in police lockup. Tarun Tejpal, though in custody, living in style, gets five-star food from family, plush blanket and mattress, posh attire in police custody. Has it all despite being fit and fine, cops not convinced. Locals of Moira annoyed with Tejpal's nuisance. Tejpal's bungalow is centre of late-night loud music parties in residential locality. Locals say authorities dormant even after several complaints. Tricolour hoisted upside down on district collectorate Mudgaon remains wrongly hoisted for almost seven hours. Alert passengers, notices goof up. Authorities collect blunder. No action. And India's maiden spacecraft to Mars moves towards Mars out of Earth's gravitational influence. Major step in space mission Chandrayaan to reach Martian orbit by September. Now news in detail. The JMFC court has granted six days police remand to Tarun Tejpal in sexual assault case. Crime branch had demanded 14 days remand of Tejpal to complete the investigation stating that the probe involves places in Goa, Mumbai and Delhi. The defence counsel opposed the move. Later, defence lawyers said they are satisfied with court's order. After spending a sleepless night in police lockup, Tarun Tejpal was produced before JMFC court in Panji on Sunday. Media was denied to attend hearing as the court was functioning as special holiday court. According to sources, during the hearing, public prosecutor contended that the investigation is connected with Delhi, Mumbai and Goa, hence police require 14 days police custody. Opposing 14 days custody demand, Defence counsel argued that police has already seized computers, have collected many related evidences and accused Tarun Tejpal is fully cooperating in the investigation. Court ne court me police ne 14 din ki remand mangi thi. Court ne hamari behes sunke 6 din ki remand di hai. Court ne 6 din ki remand di hai. No, we are satisfied. The much-awaited session's court order on Tejpal's anticipatory bail came at around 8.30 in the night on Saturday. The judge took a lot of time to pass the order. The order, however, specifies reasons why accused Tejpal does not deserve anticipatory bail. Here are some of the notings mentioned by the judge Anuja Prabhudesai while dismissing Tejpal's plea. Attempt of rape on victim, prima facie evidence. Tejpal was untraceable when police search was on. Tejpal failed to brief his whereabouts. Tejpal tried pressurizing victim's family. Tejpal is influential. May tamper with evidences or influence witnesses. No evidence of pre-planned conspiracy against Tejpal. Tejpal betrayed his own colleague. Now the next legal option before Tarun Tejpal is to approach the trial court for regular bail. However, it would be interesting to see whether Tejpal prefers application for a regular bail before trial court or awaits till the end of custody period to oppose further custody. Reporter Mukesh Kumar with video journalist Chetan Gauss for Prudent. Tarun Tejpal, though facing police custody, is living in style, wearing his regular stylish clothes, having lunch and dinner from a star hotel. His blanket and mattress too are luxurious ones. A lucky under trial accused to have such luxuries in the custody. His medical checkup says he is fit and fine. But a continuous pleading from his counsel before the trial judge, citing security reasons, got its sanction for him in custody. Though the cops are not convinced, Tejpal gets it all in the custody. Here is a report. Tarun Tejpal has been remanded to six days police custody in sexual assault case. 
After the order was passed by the JMFC, Tarun was arrested at crime branch at 9.30 on Saturday night. Tejpal had his dinner in crime branch before midnight. He was then taken for medical checkup at GMC. After medical examination, Tejpal had to spend his night in police lockup at headquarters in Panji. His family members got him the food from a five-star hotel, but he didn't have it. He only preferred a plush blanket bought by his family and slept in his usual attire. This is the blanket and special mattress from Tejpal's family. Have a look how the council of Tejpal hands it over to him in the lockup. The custody hasn't changed his lavish lifestyle. Plush blanket, special mattress, homemade five-star food and his usual attire. Tejpal was taken to the court for remand at about 11.45 a.m. He was again brought to the crime branch for interrogation. He was in crime branch till late in the evening of Sunday. He had his lunch in the crime branch on Sunday. Surprisingly, police were having rice curry while Tejpal was being served the five-star menu. The court has allowed these luxuries to the accused former editor-in-chief of Tehelka. After his anticipatory bail was rejected in the court, the defense lawyer prayed before the court to allow Tejpal to have homemade food remain in his usual attire and a counsel to meet him on daily basis, claiming the food served by police to be unsafe. But not all under trials are lucky to have such facilities in custody. Tejpal's medical examination report says he is fit and fine, but Still, he has it all as per his routine lifestyle. Tejpal spent his night along with other four under trials. They are accused in Forest Act violation. Difference is this. Tejpal spent sleepless night even with the plush blanket, while his four under trial inmate colleagues must be snoring in deep sleep with normal batches. But... Tejpal has definitely not given up his aura even in the police lockup. Bureau report prudent. Locals at Moira too are facing Tejpal's nuisance. People like Tarun Tejpal staying in Goa is a threat to the security. That's what a local from Moira claims. Tarun Tejpal owns a huge bungalow in, at Moira in Bardes. Former punch member Vigilia Disa claims that there are late night parties being organized with loud music in Tejpal's bungalow in a residential area. Moreover, even after complaints, no authority acts. <laughs> Here is another addition to Tarun Tejpal's activity in Goa. He owns a bungalow in Goa which has become a center for his parties. It's in Moira, North Goa. The bungalow has servant quarter inside the premises with a swimming pool. Neighbors say Tejpal organizes late night parties in the residential area creating a nuisance and noise pollution violating state laws. Vigilia Disa says Tejpal is a th मनीस जो ये अलकायदा मनीस दुसरे टेररिस्ट जो गावन रे खबर ना कोर गांव वो एक थ्रेट जान आसा ताका गांव लोक शेजार चढ़ कर these people they are they don't want to be a part of the community they don't mix up with the community 
they only want to show okay they have the power they have the money and they go go i mean go on doing all these things unabated even oral complaints to the authorities the local authorities i mean has not yielded any results former punch of moira said the compound wall for the bungalow is beyond limit specified by the government the compound wall asa ti itli unch asa ki ji prescribed height asa government ta che approved plan a che 1.2 meters ani jo jo jor प्लेयर आसा थी जर वन पॉइंट फाइव पसंद वो जता हि कमीच कमी दोन मीटर कंपाउंड वॉल घे भर कि भाग दिसूं जाएना अला सर्वंट्स क्वॉटर्स आसा थर सेटबैक ना तरी इतने वायोलेशन आसान पंचायती और दुसरे टीसीपीन हमें ऑक्युपन्सी सर्टिफिकेट कश दी समझना इतने वायोलेशन आसाना हेव अ लूक एट द स्विमिंग पूल इन द प्रेमसीज ऑफ तेज पाल बंगलो Sources inform Moira Panchayat had served a stop work notice for carrying out illegal construction and digging of swimming pool, but the serpent says all is well. Adle onerani the kona nikle le ata tajji varun tincha ni teka ikla varun deshpala. Amcha record abar mane tajji sabli license permission sabli update asa. Ani the gor adle gor existing structure. टोटल एरिया तेजी टू थाउजंड कितने हाँ टू थाउजंड हंड्रेड सेवन कि स्ट्रक्चर हाँ हाँ तेका रिकॉर्ड प्रमाण तेजे ये सोले अपडेट आसा टाइटल आसा आपको कंप्लेन कहीं मेहूं ना अजू कंप्लेन कहीं यूं ना ऑब्जेक्शन ऑब्जेक्शन पंचायत को दूँ ना रिपोर्टर श्याम सुंदर फटे फॉर प्रूडेंट India Sky Color was upside down hoisted at the South Goa District Collectorate on Sunday. The flag was hoisted high above on the new District Collectorate building in Madgaon. It was flying high for almost 7 hours and none paid attention. The wrongly hoisted flag was noticed by a bus passenger. The officials immediately got the flag down and hoisted it again, but yet again without following the code. Have a look. Have a look at this flag. Yes, it is our own tiranga which is hoisted upside down. The green side of the flag is flying high and the saffron color is down. That's definitely not the way it should be. The flag was hoisted early in the morning on sunrise. The tiranga was flying for almost 7 hours. It would have kept flying till the sunset if a bus passenger had not noticed it. Now have a look. The flag is immediately and hurriedly lowered and hoisted again within a minute at around 1:30 in the afternoon after noticing a goof up. There were no formalities, no officials present. This is the state of our tiranga at the district collectorate in Margao. Report on my unique for prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.